sessions. Um, and the way this works is if you do not want yourself recorded or you do not want your voice recorded, please turn off your camera and turn off the microphone. Um, the sessions that are primarily me talking, we'll record and make available. If it's primarily students interacting, we won't be making it readily available to you until we get permission from everybody involved. If you have a question, please raise your hand with the link I just at the bottom of the screen down here or ask it in the chat and we'll go from there. I'm going to shop sharing this tab now so we don't get the funhouse effect and we'll go through some of the early stuff in the unit and then open the floor for questions and we'll talk about how this is going to work over the next several weeks. So the screen is stopped and I will share a more appropriate tab. Okay. Are there any questions before we start? Again, this is being recorded. So those of you who are joining us a little late, um, you can watch. Lewis, you have your hand raised. Good morning. Um, just wanted to ask, with the glider activity, is that going yes. to be in person or not? Has that been decided ah. yet? Yes, we will get to the glider activity here in a second. So um, we wanted to have the opportunity for those of you who are on campus or in Manchester to come and do activities in each of the three weeks. However, um, due to the current uh, infection rate, we're not going to be doing it in the first couple weeks. Um, we still hope from week three, uh, teaching week three, it's uh, you know, everything's displaced to have this opportunity for you to come and fly. Um, and if necessary, I will push out the assessment point so that you all have a chance to fly. Um, but right now it is purely online. You're welcome to upload videos and ask questions and we have the sessions. Uh, I do apologize for not having any videos, but it was pretty miserable last week when I went to do some of the early videos. So hopefully I'll have a little chance later today to do some flying, gliding and get it up. So I do recognize it's a bit of a, a hash right now and I do apologize. Uh, okay, um, so the screen you see is the screen you should land on on the Blackboard page. And after today, we will change it so you land on the course content. But the reason I wanted to put this on here is there's a key thing that you have to, to do. And let me do it in student mode first. Um, before you can access any of the assessments, you need to click this acknowledgement. And the unit syllabus is still basically the same, except for instead of weeks, we're now topics. So don't worry about that. Um, and once you've reviewed that and you've read the program handbook, um, you're good to go and it will unlock everything and you can go to the course content. Um, in the course content, we have our three primary learning modules, our lecture series, which we're going to talk about briefly here in a minute, and then the glider and practical to the aerospace systems, which you do later in the semester. Okay, any questions on that? Ah, yes, you are supposed to see or hear something. Yes, Yung Zhang. Uh, yeah. Yung Yang uh, Zhang. Morning, doctor. Uh, I have a little, can you hear me? Yep, I can hear you. Oh, okay. Uh, I want to know uh, what's the frequency where we have the midterm quiz? I've listened, I've what, what? learned the, the midterm quiz. Yep. Yeah, so uh, what, we'll, we'll, we'll have, and uh, what's the frequency? So you'll have one, so you have three in semester assessments. Yeah. Um, one is the assessment related activity, mm -hmm. the other is the midterm quiz, and that comes after topic six. And then the final one is the systems activity assessment. Now, those are scheduled after the first one, the glider activity, is in our fourth week of teaching, so in our first week of teaching. The midterm quiz is in our seventh week of teaching, and the systems yeah. activity, I believe, is in the tenth week of teaching. They are relatively short quizzes on Blackboard with immediate responses. Well, you won't get the answers back right away. It will take 
um, we have to wait till everybody's done the activity oh, um, okay. to, to give you a response back. But it is they're auto marked effectively. Oh, okay. Um, so okay. so it. So it means that we have to learn some of our uh, lecture, and then we will have the test and the quiz, not after, just after the class. Yes. Oh, OK. Yes. Uh, so, so in the learning modules, they're not all available yet. Um, we didn't put it in this week's learning module because it's just a quick introduction. But in the later learning modules, there will be little mini practices, practice quizzes that will yeah. become available. Mm -hmm. um, so if you're reading well ahead, you're ahead of the game, they're not there yet. Um, and then from there, what we'll do is we'll also have, uh, when we get to weeks, um, to topic three, topic four, in these sessions, we're actually gonna go through problems, okay? Um, so you'll get practice before you have to do the quiz, okay? okay. Um, Sebastian, you've raised your hand. Thank yes. you. Um, I have another introduction to aerospace session timetable this afternoon. And uh, is yep. this a synchronous activity, like a Q&A? Yeah, so yeah. all of the timetabled sessions are synchronous activities. So there'll be someone, myself or GTA, on the thing to help you out. The activities, and it'll be dependent. Each of you will have a different time. There are four times on Mondays. There is a time at right after this session at 11 o'clock, another one at 12, and then some later this afternoon at three and four o'clock. Those are to help you with your glider activity. Now, I don't expect a lot of questions today in terms of activities, just because you're now getting started. But what I would suggest you do for today is if you read the glider activity, you have any questions about that, join any one of those sessions that you're available to. It doesn't really matter, we can answer questions. However, what it is is the people that are scheduled in that group get per first preference if there are lots of questions. So we'll just prioritize. So you're welcome to join any today, um, but next week we'll have probably a bit more activity on them and you probably want to join your own, okay? All right, thank you. Uh, Jin Kun, you have a question? And I've got, we've got some chat questions I'll get to in a second. Um, yeah, I'll get to in a second when we talk about Can, can, the, can you see me, the doctor? I can see your face, yes. Uh, oh, uh, I don't know how to use this. Uh, I have a question. I have watched the video that's uh, intro introducing the aerospace engineering. And uh, there is a yep. book that name is Introduction to Flight, made by John yep. D. Anderson. Uh, how can we, yep. how can we get this book? Okay, that is a very good question. So, can everybody see my web browser, the Blackboard page? Oh, I have a ebook for this. So, can I watch this yep. just on my phone? It's okay. Yep. Yep. So you can, if we go to course content. And you'll see slightly different because this is my editing view. If you click on this, Introduction to Flight, it will take you okay. to the book, book. And it should, you need, may need to log in with your institution if you're, if you're off campus so that it knows who you are. And each of the, um, each of the activities in the learning module, I'm going to do this in student preview mode again. Um, in each of the activities in the learning module with a, uh, with an assigned reading at the end, you will see, let's go to topic okay. two, you will see additional reading, you will see links to the specific chapter or section in Anderson. Okay? Okay, thank you. Now, okay. I still recommend, because I can't guarantee that the electronic access will last forever, this is the one book I recommend students in aerospace engineering buy. It's my personal okay. recommendation. It's not horribly expensive, but and there's no requirement that you buy it. Um, but that's my recommendation. Okay, um, Shade. Before I get to you, I'm going to answer. Okay, I'm going to answer some of the questions on chat. Um, first one: uh, Do we have to watch the pre-recorded lecture sessions before the timetabled sessions? Uh, yes, please. I, I recommend you do it. I can't make you do it, but it will make doing those problem sessions and stuff more meaningful for you. Each lecture combined videos are typically about 30 minutes. So it's not a huge amount of time. You don't have to, um, 
read Anderson ahead of time. Uh, Anderson is a, uh, a, a, a resource for you that may help you, and but none of the material on any of the exams can be is found, do I expect you to go anywhere other than the material in the learning modules themselves? The additional reading is there for you to help you understand and ground your material. Um, next question is, is the midterm only to do with the module we're learning or will be other topics as well? The midterm is specifically the lecture series. So the first six topics in the lecture series, it will not draw from anywhere else. The final exam, on the other hand, will, will draw from all topics. However, if you've already been assessed on it, we won't ask that type of question again. So because you've had the midterm, topics one through six aren't going to be viewed on their own in the final exam. They'll be viewed in combination with each other. And the same with the glider activity and the systems activity. Um, yeah, so for the exam, do you need to know anything other than the lectures? No, you don't. Um, the glider activity is this week, next week, and the week after, uh, with the assessment currently scheduled in the fourth week of teaching. Okay. Uh, Shade, you have a question. Yes. So, um, so there had been some conversation in the group chat. Um, this is more of a general yep. um, question about the course. Um, and just basically understanding the, the workload and the the kind of what's expected of us every week like obviously it's, it's all very um, asynchronous um, on the whole um, which is I think takes some getting used to for a lot of people um, but we, we just were kind of wondering a lot of people were saying is there any way that we can have um, almost like weekly weekly targets set out for us because um, with a lot I don't know if it's just because it's early days but there's kind of I think we're, I'm guessing we're doing six courses at the moment um, within yep. our, our course. And personally, I'm struggling to like understand the balance to workload between them. Some of them seem to have a lot more yep. infrastructure built in and modules all completely laid out. Like maths is very, very set out already. And then there are some which literally have nothing on them, um, which it's just hard to tell like, we, like where... Um, where we should be focusing our time in terms of getting ready for those or yeah. maybe preparing for those lectures. Yeah, so so I'm gonna answer this in a, in a couple ways and hopefully this helps clear it. First of all, if you're unsure, it means that we have not done our job. So I do apologize. Um, however, for this unit, the easy rule of thumb, and I will put this on the Blackboard page so it's clear, mm -hmm. is we do a topic each week, okay? So this week is topic one, next week's topic two, through the lecture series. In addition, we do the two practical activities. In the first part of the term, we do practical activity one, the glider activity. And then later in the term, we'll do practical activity, the systems activity. So as long as you keep up with a topic every week, you're doing fine for this unit. In the seventh week of teaching, there will be no topic focus on the midterm. I can't really speak for any other unit beyond that but I do take it in that some top units are very well laid out and some are not. I do apologize. I meant to have a topic to week um, chart up there, but um, let's just say last week was a bit chaotic. Um, no, it's, it's absolutely fine. Ends up I imagine chaotic. everyone's in the same boat as like the students and the like, yeah. teachers and stuff because yeah. everyone's yeah getting used to the new layouts. Yeah. And, and keep in mind, we, we do have a chance to look at stuff, but it, it sometimes it's very hard to know, especially when this is the first time we've done it in this manner, what works and doesn't work. So obviously you all want uh, lots of information, but it turns out sometimes we confuse you with information. So I want to provide exactly the right amount, not too little, not too much. So please keep asking questions in the discussion board and we'll go there in just a second. Um, yeah. And then we can work there. Okay, anything else, Shade? Um, that's everything for now. Thank you. Cool. Finley, you have a question. Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I, I can hear you now. Microphone muted. 
Uh, I was just um, asking, how many hours of asynchronous work are we supposed to do a week at our own time to keep up with the pace of the course? Okay. So, I mean, in general, you're going to find that for every hour we do here, you'll probably want to average two hours outside of our timetabled sessions. Now, that's not going to be even. So when it comes to the glider activity, you're going to do a little bit more in the first three or four weeks than you'll do later on. Same with the systems activity. Um, the one area where I will say when we get to topics uh, five and six, where we're dealing with flight mechanics, you'll probably end up needing to spend a little bit more time because there'll be problem sets associated with that. Um, but in general, we're going to spend about an hour a week nominally booked on this. And with watching the videos and doing some problems, you could spend another hour or two a week. It's not a particularly heavy loaded unit. Um, there are much heavier loaded units for you guys in the semester, fluids, for example. Um, so don't stress about it, but it's a topic a week. And what it takes you, if you if you find that you're getting through it quicker, great, don't, don't force yourself to spend more time. If you think you need more time on it, also plan that ahead. Um, keep in mind the final exam, which will be online, um, is going to be about an hour, hour and a half long. I wouldn't worry too much about that. We'll talk a lot more as we get to the end of the unit in asynchronous and synchronous activities about that exam. Daniel. Morning. Um, I was just, I can ask, is there some sort of like document online with the full year like specification and breakdown of what we need to do in maths and what we cover in error and what we cover in anything else? Just so I can. Oh, so. It is a bit of a mess. So each unit should have be linked to its unit specification. Um, yeah. there, there, I know there's some issues with Blackboard, so it might be an older one. Don't worry with this unit. It's still basically yeah. the same. Um, if you, In this case, you'll find it on the course information page, the link to the unit spec. What we don't have in one nice place is kind of all of the individual things for the year that you can see. Now, that doesn't mean we don't have it. I can put up the matrix, but it's kind of hard to read. Um, but we'll look at putting that up for you guys on the UG space. Something. Thank you. Yeah. OK, so going through. Um, yeah, the glider activity. We'll go into that in just a second. Why can't I see the screen? I don't know, Long, Long Fei, why you can't see the screen. Um, there's lots of people answering how to get to the text. Um, is there a deadline to complete the problem sets in each topic? No, there isn't per se, um, but you'll want to do that before topics one through six before the midterm, topics um, seven through uh, nine after the midterm. Um, are there past papers for the unit? Yes, there are. Um, due to the way that the Blackboard conversion between years has happened, they've kind of gotten jumbled. So I'll make those available. They're actually online exams that you'll have a chance to take. So there's two past online exams. So that's the best way to do it. Uh, where do we attend class this afternoon? Um, it's going to be in the same link, the live question and answer sessions, depending on which group you're in, one, two, three, four, A, B, C, D, just whatever it is, um, you'll join the re relevant session and you'll see those two of them are available and make the other two available currently. Um, don't worry about the group sign up just yet. You're already signed into your Glide activity groups. Um, and that's just for these live sessions. It doesn't have anything to do with any of the assessments. They're individual. Um, okay, Inaki, you asked if we are going to have any face-to-face -face classes or seminars this semester. Um, we are currently working on face-to-face -face sessions for you all. Now, you do not have any accreditation requirements this semester that you have to attend. So as of now, the university is in what's called its tier two situation or scenario of infection rate. And therefore, we are not doing, for the next two weeks, we will not be doing any on-campus activities that are not required for accreditation. I do apologize. That was a decision made la late last week by the president. Um, but what that means is once we relax, we are scheduling in a series of activities. You don't have to attend any of these. And an online equivalent will be made available, either simultaneously or in a slightly different 
uh, space, but at the same time. But what we have hope to have is the chance for you to fly your gliders outdoors uh, in week uh, teaching week three, um, and then there's some other activities. They will appear on your timetable as they make available, and we will make sure that you know that they are optional. You don't have to attend. For those of you who are not in Manchester, don't feel uh, like you'll be disadvantaged. This is not the case for our second, third, and fourth years who have accreditation activities. Okay. Um, so are we going to get more information about the glider activity? Uh, I, in the act, I'll talk about it here in just a second, so don't worry. Uh, problem sets are not yet available, so don't worry about those yet. So some, Sh Shoaib was asking about problem sets. I do apologize. I'm still getting them up. It's going to be weeks, really, um, from the atmosphere topic onward. Um, uh, when I asked, I saw they were asking for the seventh, but maybe the eighth edition on the book. Folks, anybody who has anything past about the fifth edition, you will have all of the material we're covering. If you have an earlier edition than the fifth, it will still have the vast majority, but do check your chapter and section numbering. They may be slightly different. Um, Jacques, you have a question. Hi, yes, I was just wondering, um, do you know the workshop classes where we learn to turn milk and use the lathe? I think that's yeah. needed for accreditation, so that, will that still be going on? Um, so yeah, that, so unfortunately, due to social distancing, we have a significant constraint on the capacity of our workshop right now, and we have a group of third year, final year students that were unable to complete their second year activity. So they're prioritized first, just in case. Once we work them through the system, we will be scheduling your activities. Currently, we should be able to schedule work through all of our third years before the end of this semester. Um, and then we'll work on second years uh, in the rest of the semester. So what that means is we expect that we'll start scheduling you all for workshop activities next semester. OK, um, and that's just due to capacity. OK, um, Daniel, I'll get to you in just a second. Um, when we watch, uh, Romaine asks, when we watch the topic videos, do we need to know every single name of the first man flight or do we have to know the timeline of inventions on the like? Um, it is good to know the names. Don't worry about it yet. Just remember them. What's more important is when you see a name, being able to recall what it is. So I'm not going to ask you in most cases to write the name down unless it's a really, really well-known name, but I might ask you to put who's associated, who that person's associated with. Um, the, the, Lecture notes, unfortunately, some of them don't, for some reason, have the names underneath. Um, I will get that fixed because it's an error that we realized last week. So you at least have the names in the in the lecture note act bits. Um, Daniel, you had a question. I was just flicking through um, the tools for engineers and some of the um, timetable sessions that they've got on their spreadsheet don't match up with the ones on my timetable. Is that Something else to be worried about, or will I get fixed later on? Because it's for Friday. <laughs> um, so I would, Daniel, I would ask tools, and I would contact the undergraduate office because okay. it might get fixed later on, but it might also be something to worry about. Okay. I don't actually know the answer because I don't, I don't see that right now. Okay. Thank you. Um, before we get to Cheng, um, Veronica is asking, can we see which glider activity group we're in? Um, yes, you can. Um, where you look is on the left-hand side of the screen under my groups. You should see which glider activity group you're in. Um, I have put myself in all four groups, so that's why I see the groups. Um, you can ask questions, talk to your group mates. They, they have collaborate sessions that you can start in those activities, but really the only reason groups um, is to know which session, which uh, session for the online chat you're in. Um, other than that, it is an activity you do at your own time. As I said, feel free to join any of those times if you're not otherwise scheduled. Um, but if it gets really busy, I may have to prioritize the people that are booked for that session. Okay. Um, looking for other questions. Uh, Cheng, you had a question. Uh, hi, sir. Can you hear me? I can. Okay, um, just asking in the general picture. So you say that the union is prioritizing like the our seniors for their practical hands-on. So we will be only starting in next semester. So let's say we like miss something that 
we supposed to do uh, within this semester or next semester? Uh, next semester, will there be make up for this all this session next, like in the future, or we will yeah. just let? So, so this semester, any live sessions we have scheduled, in person sessions. If you can't make it, there will be an online version you can do at the same time. It will be recorded. Don't worry about it. Starting next semester, you will be scheduled for sessions that you, if they go ahead, if they're not interrupted by the pandemic, you'll be required to attend. If you miss those, you will need to have mitigating circumstances to get those rescheduled. So it's only next semester that that starts. Um, and and just worry about that. Um, again, um, so any is that does that help clear it up, Chen? Uh, I think so. So there will no be reduction in any contents, practical or workshop, right? We will still have everything yep. that we supposed to do, right? Yes. Yeah. You'll still have everything you're supposed to do. So don't worry about missing anything. Though, if you do get sick or you do test positive, please inform May Student Support right away. Um, because especially if you get sick, you may not be able to do the online activities that you need to do. And okay. then that's a challenge okay. you need to deal with. Okay. That. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you so much. Uh, I, I see lots of people asking about groups and all of that. Um, I do apologize. I have managed to use numbers in one situation and letters in the other. Um, I will correct the online, the uh, Blackboard Collaborate session so they go back to numbers. So one, two, three, four instead of A, B, C, D. You can tell which of those groups you're in by the group that shows up in your My Group area. And that corresponds to the block on your timetable this afternoon or this morning where you get um, uh, a session. You may all have other timetabled sessions for other units. There should be nothing that isn't on Mondays this week, in the next three weeks for this unit. Um, I do, do need to look later in the semester when we get to the systems activity when you're going to be on there. Shay, do you have a question? Um, so as our sessions are on Mondays, mm -hmm. does that mean we should be working through week two's work in preparation for next Monday during this week? Yes. Okay, yes. Cool. cool. Yeah, that absolutely. I would do that. I mean, you can do it over the weekend if you want, or do it whenever you want. I'm not saying you should work on the weekends, by the way. Um, next week's activity is the history, and it's a bit, it's a bit more fun. There aren't any problem sets. It's just we'll go through it. And so next week in our live session, we're going to do a little bit more with the history stuff. So uh, you know, we're going to play around with that, some polls and stuff. So ask questions, also some more fun stuff. This is really just how we get through the unit today. Okay. Thank you. Good. Oh, sorry. Um, you with, you um, hand? Yeah. with introduction to flight, is there any difference to be between the international version and the US version that we should be worried about? I, I don't believe I don't believe there are any text differences. I think the biggest difference is um, in the US, they charge you about 50% more or 100% more for the book. So that's why they have a different version. <laughs> oh, could I got the international version then? So yeah, no, there shouldn't be any differences. Yeah, don't worry, don't worry about the version that you have. Um, and any, as I said, seventh, eighth edition are fine. Um, I actually, all of the things were built on, I think it was the fifth edition, and then I've just confirmed that the numbers haven't changed or where they have. Okay? Okay, good. Ahmed. Uh, hi, sorry. I'm, I'm still not sure if uh, this has been answered, but um, for the next session today, is it uh, the glider activity? So yeah, so the sessions later today will be for the glider activity. Um, and then you just, we'll, we'll get, I'll, I'll show you here in a second, the glider activity in the first bit. Um, but what we want to be doing this week, and that's why I think the sessions are, this is, keep in mind, this is all legacy timetabling that was set before the pandemic. Um, unfortunately, because the sessions are right after uh, this session, I don't actually expect you guys will have made much progress today. Um, normally, what we would have done is we would have had an in-person session in several rooms where you would have been assembling your gliders uh, live. We just don't have that 
ability to kind of organize that right now. I do apologize. So um, if you have any questions about the glider activity in detail, we'll ask there, but I don't expect you'll have made much progress. And for that reason, um, we're going to have some uh, other support, you know, the discussion boards and the like, and I'll show you the discussion boards here in a second. A lot of you are already using them and how you can subscribe if you want to follow a discussion board. But that's probably our best role. And then next week and the week after, we can have much more um, involved and much, much better discussions. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Just Shay, do you have more. another question? Um. So just to, just yep. to make it crystal clear, um, we're doing, so there's the introduction to aerospace lecture series. And then in the first four weeks, yep. we've got the glider activity. And those two are running simultaneously yep. this part for this course. Mm -hmm. OK, so every week we do. Yep, that is correct. Week two, et cetera, of each one corresponding. OK, thank you. Yep. Yep. Uh, Ahmed. I do apologize. You had you said you had another question. If you want to ask it. Uh yeah, I just wanted to ask. Uh, so uh, how do we join today's session, or like what are we supposed to be doing for today's session? For today's glider session. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what you do is go to. I'm in the in the thing. So if you go to do 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 course content. If you go to this side, on the left side of your screen, you'll see a thing called my groups. And in that will be your glider group. One, two, three, four. When you go to the live QA sessions in Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, right now it's group A, group B, but that should be one two, three, four. That will tell you the time. You join just like you join this session and to ask if you have any questions or anything about your glider activity. The glider activity itself, we are following the glider activity description in this document. And it's week by week and it's a series of questions that you should be asking. Um, so week one is putting your lighter together, basic flight mechanics, effect on performance. And what you do is you just work through each of the questions in each week, take them down as notes for yourself. And then once you're done with all of them, and you can work through all of them at any rate you want, once you're done with all of them, in starting in week four, you can take the assessment. The assessment itself is open notes, open book, open internet. Um, you're not supposed to collude with each other, but I can't stop you. Um, however, it is fast, it requires that you get through it quite quickly. And we'll talk a little bit more about that assessment in the glider activity thing this afternoon. Um, it doesn't allow backtracking. So you get a question, can't go into the next question until you answer it. Uh, yes, I am sharing, Chung, uh, and that's what the activities are. Okay. Thomas, you have a question. Okay. Can if you can see the screen share, can you raise your hand? Okay. Okay. You can all put your hands down. So some of you, at least some of you can see it. Yeah, it's not moving right now. It, it shouldn't be. Um, it's interesting. It opened a new tab. So let's 
just go back to the glider activity. Uh, I see what it's doing. Okay, I do apologize. It seems to be opening new tabs and not. Okay, yes, I think you're right. Zoom is in some respects better. Um, yes, group A is group one. Let me fix that. Okay, I've stopped sharing the hand because it's not working properly. I know what my, it's my fault. I do apologize. What it is is I've got it set to open these things in new tabs and it goes out of that. Um, let me fix that here for just a second, if I can. No. Can you all see the glider activity info now on the screen? Yep. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. You, some of you obviously may still be having issues, but at least it's generally working. Okay. So the glider activity is laid out like all of our learning modules. The key bit is no, number two, the activity description. In each week, there are activities that you do. And you can do these at your own pace. And we provide online live support for you to do them. But what you do is you work through and answer these questions. Keep your notes for when you take the quiz. OK. Nathan, you have a question. Harry? Harry, do you have a question? So sh should be is asking how you submit the practical. So what you do is at the end of the practical, there is a glider activity flight mechanics quiz that becomes available in week four. It's this here, number four. Um, we shouldn't see it, well, may come up, but it won't, shouldn't launch. And what you do is you use your notes to take that quiz, okay? And that is practical activity one. As we said, practical activity one, go to course content and choose practical activity one, the glider activity learning module. Cheng, you have a question? No, you do not submit a physical glider. It's yours to keep. Uh, Ryan, Ryan asked, do we still get 10 minutes between online classes? Yep. Actually, this unit, uh, we're supposed to stop 15 minutes early now. Um, so uh, we'll stop at 1045. How do you physically make a glider? Well, you have a couple choices. Um, if you go to building or acquiring your own glider, there are two sections, build your own or buy. And build your own, there's an A4 template that you can print out 
and you use cardboard and scissors and glue to make um, to make the glider. Um, yep, you can just buy one. Um, in fact, um, I will show people this afternoon um, some ones that are available. Um, if you're in, in the UK, you can buy it off Amazon um, and the like. If you make your own small out of A4, you can use coins for weight. The bigger the glider, the heavier the weights you're going to need. Um, Alejandro is asking, when we take the test, can we open other windows? Example, the notes you're talking about. Um, for these uh, tests, yes, you should be able to open other windows. It is, I don't have Blackboard set up to prohibit it, um, So, but you can also have written notes. Um, we'll talk about, for the final exam, some strategies, even though it's open book, on how to do it more effectively. But yeah, you're allowed to open any windows. You can look anything up on the internet you want. Um, it is there mainly to get you to engage with the material multiple times for those assessments, okay? Any other questions? Uh, should you have the glider ready for session day? Uh, if you already have it ready, great. If you don't, don't worry about it. You can ask the questions next week or use the discussion board. Dan, you know, you have a question. Um, if it all goes uh, like awful on this, anything, um, I, if you want to apply for a master's or something at the end of the first year, or Will it, will it destroy okay. you? So, yeah, so, so a couple of things. One of the things is we have to make sure that these assessments are resilient. Um, the nice thing about this unit is it's not particularly, no single assessment is worth all that much. Even the final exam is relatively small. So you have a lot of leeway. Um, for these assessments, these in-semester assessments in this unit, they are timed and they auto-complete. If you have any issues with the tests, please just email me and we'll reset them. For the final exam, we have to build a slightly more robust process, and we'll talk more about that later in the semester. But what I would suggest you do is practice the online exams. Um, which just don't seem to be available in the current setup, and I'll get them up for you guys. Um, you can see the exam 2019-20 up on the Blackboard, on the left-hand side of the Blackboard page here. Um, and we'll make sure all of those past exams are up. They are the exact same style you'd have now, except for those were invigilated. You sat in front of a computer. This time you'll have an open book, which is a bit cuts both ways. It's tempting to use your book and not revise, but keep in mind they are time constrained. Okay, um, Daniel, you have any more questions? No thanks. Cheers. Cheers. Shade. Um, hi. We. I see we've like on the on the glider activity. There's the activity description. It has that um, kind of web document with all the questions. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, do we need to like hand that in or is that just for our own kind of notes and we keep that it is they are your own notes it's okay. it's your own notes um yeah there's there's no hand ins there's nothing in paper no hand ins your glider is yours to keep the only thing you're doing is doing all that activities so that you learn this it works with the flight mechanics so this is topics five and six uh, of the semester actually topic five really and the assessment. So those are the two things it links to. Okay. So you can do it whenever you want between now and week four. Um, we just have the online help sessions. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yep. Uh, Constantinos was asking, is it, uh, do we learn in a specific order? Uh, to design a glider or just hands-on experience. So you're not designing a glider, you're putting a glider together. Normally what we try to do for you all is buy gliders and have them available. Um, that was not possible over the summer due to, due to the uh, purchasing restrictions. The other option is to build the gliders. And we've done that when we haven't had the supply because sometimes the supply chain is broken down. Um, they are all roughly the same but it isn't about building or designing a glider. It's using a glider to understand flight mechanics. That's the purpose of the session. It isn't any group work. You're just in groups for your timetabled sessions. 
The systems activity later in the semester, that is group work. You will be in groups of three or four to do the systems activity. But this is actually an individual activity. You're welcome to help each other out if you know other people, but you can do it totally by yourself. You can do it inside your own bedroom even with the A4 gliders, okay? Yes, the session later is for asking questions specifically about the glider practical, yes, Ben. Okay. Okay, folks. So just before we leave, I want to show you how you access these recordings straightforward off Blackboard Collaborate. So here is something where Blackboard Collaborate actually works pretty well. Um, later, they will be made available on the podcast server. But if you go to menu, if you go to the live sessions and you go to menu, you'll see recordings. A little while after this session ends, you will those, this recording will be made available, okay? Later, what, what I will do is I will download that and put it up on the podcast server for longer term. If in the future we do, cho do choose to go to Zoom, because you're right, there are some issues with Collaborate. They assured me it was better than last time. It doesn't seem to be that much better. Um, we will make the Zoom recordings available via the podcast server, okay? Um, you each make, Henry, you each make a glider um, because it's useful to have your own. Um, you're welcome to make them in a group so you help each other out making them. Um, yes, so you're, Hassan, you're in group four. The two sessions that are up right now um, are, are group one and group two. So I will put three and four up here in a minute. So that's why you can see them. Okay, folks, any other questions before we part for this morning? Next week, if you all can do topic two, the hist a bridge history of aerospace engineering, we're gonna focus a lot more on that material, okay? Uh, Sholem, uh, it's up to you whether you buy it or build it. Building it's faster, especially if you have pizza boxes lying around and a pair of scissors, but buying's uh, not too bad. Um, you can typically find a glider for between five and 10 pounds. Uh, Nicholas. Okay. Shahad, you have a question. Hi, so just one more. Uh, when it comes to the um, introduction to flight book, is there anything we should be noting down and writing down or keeping a specific eye for? Nope. It is purely there to help you with the material we're talking about in the main sessions. So it's up to you. If there's something you see that you find interesting or want to write down, you can. But there's nothing in that book that we're not talking about in the videos or on the slides, annotated slides, um, that would be assessed. OK? All right. Thank you, sir. Cool. Uh, the systems activity, I believe, begins in teaching week seven, Marwan. Uh, Yu Yang. Oh, yeah. Uh, doctor, so we attend our class uh, in different groups, right? The, the class uh, this afternoon. Yep. Uh, so we just... You're welcome to join any of the other sessions, but that's the, your scheduled time. Oh, okay. Uh, so just to follow my, my scheduled time and uh, uh, click the link in my, uh, in my group, right? Yep. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, so the link won't show up in your group. You'll just ask us through the live Q&A sessions uh, based on your group number. And I will change the Blackboard uh, Collaborate to reflect group numbers. So there's only two sessions on Mondays in weeks one through three, Henry. So one is the practical activity and the other is the lecture topic Q&A session, okay? Okay. Um, if you have any more questions, please ask them on the discussion board. Just briefly, the way you get to that is course content. Um, scroll down to discussion boards or on the left hand side. Click on discussion boards and we have discussion boards about each things. I will be working through the lecture series and assessment questions here in a little bit. OK, thanks, guys. I'm going to take a break and I will see you, those of you in group one or anybody who wants to join for the glider activity questions in a second. Thank you.